Hey guys, this is Brett Phillips. Welcome to another episode of News Chat here on YouTube. And uh, you know, we were down at the dog park today, and I was just sitting here thinking about a a Fox TV segment that I saw just a couple of days ago, and they were talking about taxes and you know how we're headed to seventy cents on a dollar, guys. We've got to wake up. You know, we all have to pay our taxes. You know, that's a given. But let me ask you a couple of questions. Did you know that only 50% of the country actually pays taxes? Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that those of us who are paying taxes, the 50% of the country, we're paying for everybody. How do you like that? I suppose if you're one of the people that don't pay taxes, you probably love that. But I'm going to assume that you're one of the 50% who do. You probably don't like it so much. Well. What if you didn't have to pay income taxes? What if instead you had a flat tax or a consumption tax? Those guys were also talking about the value added tax that we're getting ready to be hit with on top of the regular income tax. It's not supposed to be that way and it's never going to change unless we stand up and be heard and we stop voting people into the White House that have an agenda to raise our taxes and break our backs. Well, you know, what if instead of paying, you know, income tax, because one of these guys was talking about how for the last hundred years, you know, we have been taxed on what we earn. What if instead of being taxed on what you earn, what if you were taxed on what you spend instead? Now, case in point, let's say you went to the movies. Let's say you went to buy a a taco, let's say you went to buy a pair of jeans, would you be okay with just paying a flat 20% extra for that if it meant that you didn't have to pay income taxes? Now here's what else that that would accomplish. Remember I said earlier that only half of the country pays taxes to start with. Well, with a flat tax, everyone would have to pay. So. If everyone paid and it was only 20% of an extra tax, <coughs> excuse me, if everyone paid and it was only just an extra 20%, look at how much money would be pumped into the economy. Look how much money would be pumped into the government. We'd have more money to do things with because that's the argument we always hear from the Democrats. You know, well, it takes money for the fire department and the police department. And, all the government programs. I don't know what side of the aisle you're on, but I just, I sit back and I look at this stuff and you know, I've never really taken a huge interest in politics until this past year or so. And I just, I look at this stuff, I, I watch what's happening and it just doesn't seem fair to me. And you know, if a lay person like me that, that doesn't really, you know, put a lot of time, energy and effort into the political scene, if I can figure this out, you know, and then I started talking to lots of people, you know, just in general, out and about when I'm out and, you know, at the mall or, you know, hanging out at the dog park like we are today. And more and more people, in fact, and I'm not exaggerating here, nine out of every ten people that I talk to, they hate the current administration, they don't like our system, they don't like big government. Well, you know, what does that say? I just think that as a nation, we could do things better. I think it could be more fair to you, more fair to me, and I think it would open up more doors of opportunity for everybody. And I understand that, you know, the money's got to come from somewhere. I just think there's a, a more fair way to accomplish the goal. If the goal really truly is, you know, freedom and prosperity, I don't think you ought to be taxing the hell out of prosperity. I mean, how much sense does that make? to take one person who's lazy and doesn't want to work and say well we're just going to tax you a little bit and then take another person who's driven who's motivated who is inspired to go out and and live the american dream and is an entrepreneur she's an entrepreneur well we're going to tax that person to death i mean it just doesn't make any sense you know that's the robin hood mentality there's plenty of you know pie to go around should a person who's too lazy to work have more rights than a person who contributes more to society? 
What are your thoughts? Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Remember, your opinion counts. Your view matters, but you got to stand up to be heard. So, before you leave the channel, make sure you post a comment below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Feel free to embed this video on your blog, or on your web pages, and drive traffic to it and help me get the word out. We've got to be heard, and together we can do it. So, thanks so much for your attention. I appreciate it. Until next time, this is Britt Phillips. Take care of yourself and each other. God bless.